have joined us for the last match of the day, and it is Team Europe against England. Another interesting thing about Bon Malay comes from Réunion, the French island in the Indian Ocean that produced Thierry Lancou. Well, that's not a bad player to be around or look up to as you've grown up in. That's not a bad backhand drop shot. The beast not able to get down to that one. Lovely counter work in Gregory Gauthier, who was fantastic, still is playing ridiculously well, I'm sure. Oh, yes, look at that. 6-2. That, does that not deserve a round of applause, Chris? Did yeah. nobody see that one? No, I enjoyed <laughs> it. I'd s I would have thought like the amateurs in the crowd would have enjoyed it as well. Cause Another reverse base, yeah. Ah, oh. sacre bleu. Three six. Yeah, Can that go. was pretty cool as well. Trademark stuff from Mohamed El Shabagi. Lovely way to finish that first game. And it's England looking strong. One love up. Still a long way to go. Bon Malay yet to lose in this event either. movement he read it and then the touch at the front controlled oh it's a good Six shot up. no way through there Game four. again too loose around the midcourt area shabagi gobbling it up so six love, looking vicious out there. He's going to want to close this out with a bagel. He won't worry about that, love. and he has. Seven love. Game so seven England. love game. England lead two games to love. Slightly despondent looking Sebastian Bonmalay there. He's got some work to do. Two games to love. Love all. Oh, appreciated by Shraggy there. Love. Beautiful response. Well, this is some serious hitting from Shraggy. Just on everything like a rash. Picks up the pace of his movement. Oh, and he's got he's got it back. Ah, Just a little oh, bit wild from Bon Malay. Well, you hear the reaction. From the man in red. If anybody knows an important phase of a match, it's him. Five ball, game ball. And now game ball using his power play. Well, I think Shrebag used the power play or Bon Malay? Yeah, Mohammed picking the power play up. He's definitely cognizant of the point situation and trying to limit Bon Malay's points. Oh, that's. Oh. Ooh. Well, that was an intense finish. Certainly high octane stuff that last few rallies. Seeing that first rally of this game. He's so keen to get onto the ball. Go for the dive. 
Oh! And he's got the error. First error in a long time. Point Davis, please. From the Englishman. Rally's a little bit longer. He's just finding a way to withstand the barrage that Trebaghi's throwing at him. But it's just still so difficult for him to create enough pressure to put Shurabagi in a disadvantaged situation where he can add to his score tally. Absolutely. So the last bit of a ejected um, racket swirl there. Chris, you're going to make a move in case he does get get the win here, Mohammed. But it is a power play. So it's now or never for the Team Europe's male player. Scrambled it back. And what a finish, suitably so. Ferocious performance from England's number one. No doubt he'll be thrilled with that. Job done in the England camp so far. Paris Nations Cup 2022. Paul B match. Sarah Jane Perry of England to serve. Naila Gillis of Europe to receive. Best of seven games, love all. I agree, okay. go with you on that one. But then again, if the court was yellow, I'd probably say blue. <laughs> I like the contrast. Oh, plucked it out of the air there. And out, three, one. She's a tall girl, Sarah Jane Perry, but it still doesn't make that shot that it's easy. Format. Yeah, yeah. Always seem to be uh, immediately following interaction with the referee. Like to prolong those discussions, take your eye off the ball, and like you say, in this format, just taking your foot off the gas for two, two or three points can mean a, a game. Right, Bob. The straight again. drop again. Four, three, it's a weapon three. from the English woman. The microphone picking it up in that. Deep backhand corner, working hard. Yeah, it's a long rally this, longest one we've seen. Oh, oh what a finish oh, oh. again. Well, Naila Gillis, it's early days, but Six, three, every sign is that a short game, game is on fire. She's a confident player right now, so 6-3 up, game ball to take the first. Be the uh, the start that Team Europe would have been looking for. Oh, oh stroke to Europe. That's a shame. Player review. Perry on the stroke decision. I think she clunked her on the forehead. Stroke to Europe. Decision upheld. England have three reviews remaining. You, the contact prevented her shot. Well, SJ okay, yeah, choosing to have a good old chat with the referee once again. She'd be far better coming and gathering contact thoughts and trying to figure out how she's going to stop Naila Gillis from chopping the ball into those front corners. Not quite high enough with the lift. She's hanging on here, Perry. Rally. There's a chance. Oh, well played. It was a huge amount of pressure there from Naila Gillis. Oh, and the, the volume, quality rally. The volume of through it. Three. She has an opportunity now to take a two love lead, putting more pressure on England. Danger. It's, yeah, it's so dangerous. No matter. Four, that's the six. thing with Esha, you have to be Game so four. accurate whether you think she might be breathing a bit. She's oh, it's 
Real she's got it. She's movement got it. there. Wow, she's done very, very well there, Naila Gillis. She's still under the cosh, though. Good ball. But Keeps what about that? Coming back. That is. Turn defence into attack. What oh. a fantastic example of using her lob to perfection there. She had to go and get Thank three you. balls from the extreme corners of the court Here there, Naila Gillis. Two games to love. And the New Zealand crowd being treated. Some great women's squash. Well, it's more of the same from Team Europe's well, Nella Gillis. I mean, she's so competent at the moment. Competent and confident. And things are getting interesting here at the Trust Power Arena. Decide who goes through to tomorrow's final. Ten points in this match. Still two games. Well, she needed that one. Head out. Again, two, I was four. literally England, just about uh, to say two power out. plays. I think this is a good time. Europe. Naila's responding. Out, Double power two, play. Four. Huge part of the game. Massive Match. rally. Chance. Not good enough. Oh. oh. Oh, it's superb. A what a great again. drop. No lead. I, th I think uh, Perry knew England the quality well, of the shot. Obviously going to review this, but I think she could be, uh, it could be a bit of wishful no thinking because that, that was another review. beautiful drop shot from Gillis. Ball's fading away, sticking to the sidewall, stayed very short. No lead. It is this a no is let, goal. and it is a nightmare scenario no now for Sarah Jane Perry. Remaining. Facing Six, two. five game, game balls ball. to go three love down. Stroke to Europe. Had to be a stroke. Oh. Review in England. I On think this is a, a waste of a review because she pulled that one right away from the well, side wall. A little bit of clarity of the mind wouldn't go amiss here. Sarah Jane Perry, it's a waste of a review. There's no way that can be anything but a nailed on stroke. Stroke to Europe, decision upheld. 7-3, game to Europe, Europe lead, three games to love. It's dangerous territory for England now, Naila Gillis, performing extremely well. Time after it. time after time. Two, one. Right. So lots of calculations have been going on behind the scenes. Oh, and it's another error into it's the towel it's box. Not just an error, it's a tired looking error to me. That it Jenny. Is. Couldn't really get too much closer, could it? It couldn't, I mean, Naila Gillis could not have done a lot more, far not drop a couple more points. Yeah. Oh, and she's done it. Seven one. Fantastic Europe. effort and performance from Naila Gillis. Two points, the difference. One string each, four games all. 
39-37. So tied to England by two points. What a match. That's the closest we've had so far.